we've established that we need an investment program of approximately nine and a half billion dollars worth over the next 10 to 15 years. The health sector is quite different from building a vertical building, for example. There's a lot of interface with clinicians and nurses and doctors, and it's a lot more complex. In addition to alignment of funding and making sure we're doing things at the right time around capacity, our other big issue is the resources for our projects. And one of our big gaps has been project managers who have experience in the healthcare sector. Primarily the world has moved to delivering things via projects and we need to do this in efficient and effective ways. That means we need more project managers who are effective in delivering projects better. I'm Mark Harris, I work for the Northern Regional Alliance. We are an entity that uh, provides services to the four northern DHBs. We've been doing some work in the Northern Region uh, long-term investment plan over the last five years to determine the, the need for clinical services and the growth of the population and how we would make our facilities and our infrastructure meet those needs. That obviously brings about a large building program. And some of that building program is to replace and remediate our current ageing facilities and a significant portion of it is to provide new capacity for the services we want to provide. My name is Alan Johns, I'm the Director of Facilities and Development for Auckland District Health Board. My responsibilities are the management of all the properties and the buildings within the DHB and also capital development. There's a large program of investment across the DHBs in the region and this is predominantly to meet the um, lack of capacity to meet the clinical needs. We were finding that the project managers that were coming in from private companies didn't have the expertise to work within the health sector. We have a lot of very specialist equipment such as MRI, CTs, etc. Plus we have needs from the clinical side which you don't see outside of the health sector. Part of the challenge for us in the Northern Region has been to try and anticipate um, how we could make sure we had the right access to the people to deliver this program. And one of the key things was an issue of education and having the right people with the right training. We looked how we could improve that and the only way I could see to do it was to establish a whole new range of project managers who were well qualified and were being trained in the healthcare requirements that we have. We set up a group and decided that we needed a tertiary partner to give it credibility and to give us expertise in the pure project management discipline. We looked at a number of different uh, institutions but chose Auckland University. When we met with the University of Auckland, the solution from their end was that maybe we could join and become part of their Masters in Project Management and they would set up a, a special component of that which was in health project management and this led to the development of the Centre of Excellence Health Infrastructure or CEHI. The Centre of Excellence Health Infrastructure will offer internships and scholarships to work hand in hand with the Masters of Engineering Project Management. My name is Gary Miller, my role at the University of Auckland is the Director of the Graduate School of Engineering, so that's looking after all of the taught Masters programmes. The collaboration grew from an opportunity where the DHB's approach does and that then grew into a relationship. It's somewhat of a unique collaboration and really powerful one because of that link with industry and academia. Over time that relationship has grown so that it's delivered jointly with DHBs involved in the curriculum and we're very confident it's going to bring forward a great learning experience. We've worked very closely with the university in that partnership to take core papers out of the, the engineering school uh, on project management but we've also incorporated um, elements from the population health school uh, and that's given us a unique opportunity really to provide a, a program that has great breadth but really specificity for the health sector. I'm Janine Pratt, I work with the Facilities Services team at Waitamata District Health Board. Our team's responsible for the capital programs within our DHB, so that's the construction of our vertical buildings or hospitals, as well as refurbishments. For our projects, one of our challenges is project resources, having the right people at the right time. The Centre of Excellence Health Infrastructure is so important to us to help grow that pool of talent that can contribute to our construction projects. 
In addition to looking at the resourcing for our team, we're also looking for diversity and being representative of the communities we serve. We believe that in healthcare, you need your staff to look very like your patients and be able to communicate well with the patients. We believe that our project managers should also be like that. So we've made provision for scholarships for Māori and Pacific people to come into this course. My name is Fred Memo and I work for the ADHB. Um, my current role within the ADHB is I'm a project manager specialising in asbestos, working with new infrastructure. It's exciting when it's part of the community, when it's part of the mana whenua, the kaumatuas of the DHBs, um, working with them. That gives us a understanding of what the tangata whenua wants from us to give back to the people, to put into the place, to make it reflect. So maybe it's the floor around you, maybe it's the designs, the architectural designs you got of the buildings. They give you an aspect that relates to everyone. And that's why whenever I turn up to work, I turn up with a smile on my face because I know what I'm going to do today is going to be beneficial to other people around me. Um, I've worked in commercial throughout other industries, but never has it been more rewarding than this job I have now. My name's uh, Rohit Lal. I work for County's Manukau District Health Board. My role in the organisation is uh, one of an asset and projects manager. To accommodate the Pacific and Māori in the projects that we deliver is important because our target audience is the Pacific and Māori mostly. And if we do not keep that in our minds when we're delivering most of these projects, then we can actually underutilise the assets that we finally deliver. The tangible benefits for the DHBs and the students link to the learning opportunities. So for example, the DHBs have opportunity to define projects that students will be working on, so immediately applied into the workplace, which is super. For students on the programme, there's an opportunity to obviously learn new knowledge, gain new skills, and also will hopefully put them on a trajectory for future career sets and to advance their careers into the sector. In terms of future opportunities, we see the programme as scalable, so it could extend to the whole country. Also around using technology, so it's designed to be agile and flexible using online learning opportunities. And really suited to the busy working professionals who may be looking to do the programme part-time whilst also working. I'm from Fiji originally and the fact that this initiative embraces the needs and requirements of my community and, and others like is, is really rewarding to be part of that program. My hope for the future is that we can combine the University of Auckland's course together with ours and produce exceptional project managers who will become the model for other industries across New Zealand.